Hello! In today's video, I would like to share some tips on how to work on your facial expression in dance. This is a question I received from a, a couple of people. Some of them were participants in my Posing for Pictures online workshop, which was uh, earlier this month. By the way, if you are looking for tips on how to pose and how to prepare for a photo shoot or performance, check out the recordings. I will put a link in the email. They are still available. And uh, it's two hours of material, half of which is preparing your body and mind for a shoot on performance. And the second half is the actual posing. I had a lot of fun with this workshop, so I hope uh, you'll be able to check it out as well. So speaking of facial expressions, a short section of this workshop was dedicated to this part. And my main tip for you guys, so you'll have the tip in short, is to work on your expression from the inside. It doesn't quite work if you take a song and uh, think, oh, this has to be sad, and then you put on a sad face because that's what you think people want to see. This way, it doesn't come really from the inside, but it's a face you put on and it will feel and look inauthentic that way. So I recommend going at it from the other side, working from the inside out. It's like a good actor would do also. They don't just put on a face. They invoke the mood or the atmosphere or the emotion or the feeling that they want to express. And then it is different because you actually feel this way. It's like a form of self-hypnosis, I would call it almost. So for performance, if you apply this to dancing, uh, one way you can do this is by connecting to your body. So making sure you breathe, making sure you warm up before or at least move a bit. And then focus on those parts of you that usually get tense in uh, situations where you have to perform. If it is your face that gets um, tense, then warm up your face beforehand. You can even massage your jaw, your neck, pinch <laughs> or slap. Make your face awake so you feel it, so you physically feel your face when you are dancing. This will remind you to not freeze here. You want to have this inner awareness, this connection to your actual face. Another thing that helps, the opposite part, is to warm up your feet and feel the connection with the floor where you are dancing or moving on. Having this connection with your feet can get you out of your head. If you have like a little voice going on here that, uh, that makes you nervous, which for some people also for me might happen, connecting to your feet and feeling your feet while you are dancing will center you and bring you back to yourself and to the moment because that's what you want you want to be in the moment not thinking too much and not stressing too much just being you can be you can be nervous that's fine but you want to be nervous and aware at the same time then your facial expression will soften by itself if you still have trouble one tip uh, I got from a teacher earlier, and it's, it's something that I still live by, is to try to perform only to music that really speaks to you. Don't just choose a song that um, is considered a classic and then feel like you have to dance to it, or just choose a random song and dance to it. If you can, select a song that makes you feel happy, joyous, or emotional, or that you have a connection to, that if you hear it, your body, your mind reacts to it. And this is something that will help you on stage. If you have that music that is strong for you, that resonates with you, you will dance differently also in your face than if it's music that you can simply disconnect from. So first one, connect with your body by warming up and um, centering and actually just thinking of connecting to your body and breathing while you perform. Second is to choose your music carefully so it helps you and does not hinder you. A third thing would be is to also practice your face. I know this seems opposite from not putting on a face, but you want to know how your face looks when it feels a certain way. If you can um, practice just any movement you want to practice, it can be very um, advanced. So movements that challenge you, usually your face becomes very concentrated, yes. Try in challenging layered movements to still feel your face. Force yourself to do this in practice. No one will get hurt. It will make it easier in performance circumstances. Then if you notice it is too hard to do at first, simmer down the level, make the movement easier. So just do a basic or your favorite movement and then connect your face in practice. Get used to the fact that your face also dances. Another thing that you can do is to work on your posture. 
because if your posture is open and confident and strong, it'll also translate in how you feel and how you feel will translate in your face. So working on your posture somehow indirectly also changes how your face looks when you dance. And if you need specific tips for that, I recommend, <laughs> I recommend my own online classes, Posture and Arms, because it's also for me something that I've struggled with for a long, long time. So I've gathered a lot of tips and I want to share them with as many dancers as I can, because I feel this is something that is sometimes missing in, um, in workshops. There's no time for it. And in weekly classes, you are focusing usually so much on technique that that was this underneath it, the posture that supports it, it needs some extra attention. So if you want to work specifically on that, just email me and I'll send you the link for posture and arms. It will change also your face. Oh, and a final tip, something that also helped me in my latest photo shoot, I had uh, for the first time in my life, different expressions than always the same one. And what helped me for that was to try out different dance forms and remember how I feel when I do those dance forms. If this is something that resonates with you, if you feel like, oh, I want to try this, next week, so the 25th of July, I am hosting an online workshop day for a good cause for Dance for Children with my own ballet teacher, my contemporary teacher, Sandra Taiti teacher, and um, a dance friend who, whose movements I love. She does Zouk motion, so something uh, that will free up your movements in different ways. So if you want to try different movement arts with different moods, so you have different feelings that you can call upon, check the link. It's called MSP Online, gumroad.com, no, gum.co slash MSP Online. I'll add the link as well. Check this out because these are the people, the teachers that inspire me. And if I invoke their kind of movement, my movement changes, my posture changes, and also my face changes. And you can do this with any hobby you have. If you are, for instance, an archer, this kind of warrior-like um, expression is something you can use in certain parts of dance, maybe even. Or if you do another dance form, try to take everything you have learned from different sources, and it's all part of you. And don't be afraid to use all that you are in your next dance. So. That's my advice for today. I hope you, um, you can use this. Let me know if you do. And I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.